Charlene Ventura is the president and CEO of the YWCA of Greater Cincinnati. 34 years ago, Ventura found her life's work when she helped design a domestic violence questionnaire which was published in a local newspaper. As journalist Maria Hinojosa told the awards dinner audience, Ventura's questionnaire resulted in 100 responses from women. She called a news conference, held a public hearing, and shone a legal light on something then considered only a family problem. Now Ventura works to help battered immigrant women find help at the Y. Charlene, it's really an honor to meet you, and long live the feminists from the Midwest. Thank you very much. Thank you. I am so humbled to be part of this incredible group of 21 women, especially a woman from Cincinnati. It's really been quite an amazing experience. Uh, I also am uh, very touched to uh, be able to be in some way uh, give a voice to women who are survivors of domestic violence and to be honored for that. That is just really, truly incredible. And I really want to give credit to the YWCA, and I know many of you are familiar with the YWCA. It's an organization whose mission is to empower women and eliminate racism. And we are all over this country. We are all over the world. And it's really been a, 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 an a honor to be able to work in an organization that had, had the courage to raise the issue of domestic violence in Cincinnati and be one of the first providers of services uh, uh, for victims of domestic violence, as well as tr transitional housing, shelters, and services for men who are abusers. So I just feel so privileged to be part of that. And we were also in Cincinnati able to bring our uh, cause in 1976 to the YWCA National Convention and to actually create a motion that would embolden other YWCAs throughout the country to also establish services for victims of domestic violence. So I just feel that the YWCA is really uh, very deserving of this award and, and really you should recognize the services that they provide throughout the country and the world. I wanna thank Francie Pepper who nominated me for this award. She is a woman in her own right who deserves to be honored for her work at a national level for domestic violence. I wanna thank uh, Lorraine Cole who is here who is the CEO of the YWCA of the USA. Karen Schwartzwater, who is our um, regional uh, uh, director, as well as my board and my staff who do this work day in and day out to help support uh, domestic violence victims and survivors. And I also want to thank my husband of 40 years, Gus Ventura, because he was a man ahead of his time who really did help and un did understand the issue of domestic violence and how it impacts women and, and his daughters. So thank you very, very much. I, this is really from the heart.